right now, we know that there will be at least six sites set up around the city. Four here in Salem, one in unincorporated North Salem, as well as one in unincorporated South Salem. They'll be using these hippos. It's a tanker like you see behind me here. They're capable of holding 2,000 gallons. It'll be connected to a five spigot faucet kind of a setup, allowing families to come and get that water. Now, as for the testing and those levels, we're told that continues. Some samples are showing improvement, others not so much. Now, today we're told the city is taking water samples every day from multiple sources, but in order for this advisory to be lifted, we'll need to see two days worth of clean samples or samples below that health advisory threshold. As for where those distribution sites will be set up, that's still all being sorted out. There's no word yet on just where this will all be. Now, earlier I pressed Salem officials more on what happened and why it took so long for them to alert people about the dangers of the toxins in the water that could be present. Now, remember, they found out Saturday. That alert went out Tuesday. A city spokesman said OHA actually told them to hold off on saying anything. And when I asked about why that was the case, no one could answer, saying that could come out tomorrow. Here's Salem City Manager Steve Powers. I have certainly heard over the past 24, 36 hours that, that people are upset. And for that, I, I, I am, I am I'm very regretful. And if we can take steps to get water out to the community of Salem, as well as in the process, help other communities in the valley. You know, on, on, again, on behalf of the city, we're, we're very, we're very grateful for that help. So with this emergency declaration, the governor has also given the green light to the AG's office to investigate those reports of price gouging at stores, stores marking up the prices of bottled water. The OHA today could not confirm if anyone has become ill due to contaminated waters. Now, as for those uh, distribution sites with the water, we're still waiting to learn on just where those will be set up. Of course, as we have that information, we'll push that out on air and online. So as for this advisory, the earliest it could be lifted, we're told, is Saturday. Testing, though, will continue daily. Again, Dan Jennifer we need those two days in a row of clean water samples. Live in Salem, Cole Miller, Coin 6 News. Cole, we have more city leaders say.